All right, so welcome back. Let's chat now about the Ministry of Trade's new upcoming initiative, Welcome to the World Export, which is a collaboration between the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Exim Bank of Trinidad and Tobago, and Youth Business Trinidad and Tobago. So to tell us more are Navin Dukaran, CEO, Exim Bank, and Michelle Lau Chutang, Managing Director in Veni Business and Technology Limited, an export training facilitator. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, and thank you very much for having us on. All right. Uh, Ms. Lau Chitang, yeah, thank you very much for, for speaking with us this morning. Um, Ms. Uh, Lau Chutang, let's, let's speak about uh, this new initiative. Okay. All right, great. So, so as you mentioned before, it is an initiative that I'm very pleased to be part of and a very important one uh, with the Ministry of Trade and Industry, the Exim Bank of Trinidad and Tobago and Youth Business Trinidad and Tobago. Um, coming under such an ideal team, especially now, uh, the Welcome to the World of Exports. This particular initiative is a series. Under that series, we have three sessions of which I will be facilitating that treats with uh, e the importance of effective market research, export potential, assessing your export potential or capacity, and looking at new strategies in the, for exporting. Uh, the, these three uh, sessions will be held during the period of June 20th to July the 18th. Uh, and they will be held virtually a one hour period for each session online. Registration is still open for these sessions. Um, you can check Youth Business Trinidad and Tobago Facebook page uh, to get a little bit more information other than what we share with you today. Uh, and you can feel free to register at this point. Yeah. Mr. Dukaran, um, uh, tell us about the input here of Exim Bank. Sure, sure. Well, Marvin, I, I noticed, I don't know if you have a, a, a renewed focus on, on this show, but I noticed you had the Minister of Trade on yesterday, speaking <laughs> about a lot of good work that they're doing. Yes. And, uh, and this is one other initiative of many that is happening, and Exim Bank is partnering uh, with the Ministry of Trade and Youth Business Trinidad and Tobago. And the reason is, is that we have been seeing very positive results. The Ministry of Trade put out, you know, a release a couple of weeks ago showing the, the increase in national non-energy exports. In fact, in 2022, it was um, over 12% followed a, a, a double-digit year before. And uh, now what we're trying to do is to drive the awareness and the opportunities to, to the, the un aspiring entrepreneurs and younger entrepreneurs so that when they get into the business, they get into business with an export mindset. And Youth Business, we partnered with them before, and they've been doing a great job, and we're happy to, to partner again with this initiative. Yeah, Michelle, who is this initiative for? What sort of businesses? Uh, both for businesses that are already established and are looking to expand into new markets, in addition to youth uh, business entrepreneurs, not, you know, startup companies, that have an interest in export or are export focus and you should be export focused at this very at the very beginning of your business journey it makes sense to do that because it is considered fact that businesses that export actually perform a lot better than non-exporting businesses so it is important for you to get you know to get going from now so we invite you to come to these sessions expand your knowledge base as it pertains to exports, get on a good understanding as to what is next, what is what, what it is you need to do, what you need to put in, put in place in your company to begin walking that export road. Yeah, because I think that sometimes, I just wanted to clear that up, because I think that sometimes when we hear about these initiatives, sometimes the impression is given to small businesses that these initiatives are really for the big business. So it's, yeah. it's, it's from the small, medium to large businesses yes um yes uh the, as i said before it is if you are already established in terms of a business and you're looking at expansion yes you can get a lot out of these um these training sessions as well as if you're an aspiring entrepreneur or already started your company and has that have that interest in terms of exporting or even if you don't and you want to know what's involved, what it takes to become an exporter, then the, the series is for you. Yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Dukaran, um, you, you, you get the impression that there is, um, because of, of, of Exim Bank's um, 
participation in this project. You get the feeling right now that uh, a lot of people are moving towards entrepreneurship and there is this new thrust towards business. Well, you know, Marlon, that is the key ingredient for this country's success. It's a SME sector, small and medium-sized enterprise, and it's for when they, they enter into business with an exporting mindset. In fact, Michelle talked about some of the benefits of, of getting into business with an exporting mindset. But what we're seeing is it's actually much easier for newer companies when they get in with an export mindset to become net forex earners much quicker. We have a few clients that became net forex earners in, in, in less than two years, in about one year, they became net forex earners because they started with that mindset. It's actually tougher for the existing companies that are larger and supply in the local market. There's a longer road for them to get to become a net forex earner. So there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, we are seeing people move to that and youth business TNT plays a critical role in actually driving that youth entrepreneurship. We worked with them in the past with projects in the, in the secondary school sector. So we start even earlier than this. This particular program is, is for those aspiring and, and current entrepreneurs. But we do some work with them also at the secondary school level, and they've been very good, the, the team at YBTT. Yeah. And let's speak about that, because to some, that may be a new term. It may mean um, news of, 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 a new, of a new organization when that is not the case. They have been around for a while now. Yes, well, I mean, we've been working with them for the last four years or so, but they've been they've been here. I mean, I don't know if Michelle has more information mm -hmm. on their, their longevity, but they've been a quite as an NGO, um, and so this is their mission. And uh, again, they have corporate partners like the Exim Bank and others that help support them. Mr. Ducuran, mm -hmm. let's let's speak about oh, uh, Michelle. No, no, uh, and it's fine. I was just going to add that, you know, youth business Renan Tobago is also um, at the helm of the Global Business Entrepreneurship Week that occurs uh, in Trinidad and in other countries around the world. So they have been here assisting youth development as it pertains to entrepreneurship for a very long time and doing a fantastic job uh, locally. Yeah. Mr. Dukaran, let's speak a little bit about the criteria um, in respect as to, as to how someone can access fund services from the Exim Bank? Sure, sure. You know, one of the key things with this program and then with our offerings at the Exim Bank, the key is to make it very simple to access, right? So Michelle just talked about just go to the Facebook page, YBTT Facebook page, and you'll be able to find all the information there. And this is going to be open for many. On the Exim Bank front on accessing foreign exchange, um, for manufacturers, we have a foreign exchange program, and it's very simple. It is once you're into manufacturing and you're an exporter, or if you don't export yet, you're an aspiring exporter, then we ask you to fill out an export plan. Those two things, once you complete those two things and you qualify, you qualify automatically for foreign exchange for the manufacturing sector. So it's quite simple. We have quite a lot of small business on the program. In fact, the majority, over 80%, are, are small to medium-sized businesses. And we encourage more with programs like what Michelle and YBTT are, are helping us on. Hopefully that pipeline grows, grows and grows. But is it, is it only for businesses that manufacture hair? If it is that you have a local business, um, that imports goods for sale here, would the Exim Bank be able to help that individual? Yeah. So we have two programs. One is the Manufacturing Forex program. And the second one is the Essential Items Forex program. Uh, on that program, importers can access foreign exchange, but it's for a defined list of specific essential items, basic foods, medicines, PPE, cleaning supplies, and, and these type of items. So it's not for anything. Yes. It's for specific items uh, that the country definitely needs, and we don't want any shortages in. And that's the, that's the program that importers could um, access. Yeah, but it's, it, it is a case um, if uh, a company um, satisfies whatever the criteria is, that the Exim Bank will provide all of the funds to the business um, in order to manufacture its products here in Trinidad and Tobago? What I can say is that um, the foreign exchange is still 
in limited supply. We do a good job with the small and medium-sized companies in being able to supply most, if not all, of their forex needs. Um, but you know, depending on the company, we may or may not be able to start supply everything. I always tell everybody and every client, the secret is if you want more forex, export more, right? And earn that forex. Yeah. So and we're seeing many, many companies. Marlon, before we, we uh, finish, I just want to mention, in addition to the three sessions Michelle talked about, there is a, a, a premier virtual event also with um, Minister Paula Gopi Schoon, uh, where she's delivering the feature address. We're so happy about that in this thing called exporting and export an important nugget in the national ecosystem. That's going to be on July 25th at 10 a.m. Uh, I'll be on a panel together with uh, Devrat Maharaj, Executive Director of Caribbean Export Development Agency from Barbados, Dan Raj Hari Pasad, General Manager of Client Services, and Lisa Marie Daniel, General Manager of Fashion TT. So we really try to make this 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 whole initiative relevant for many people, and uh, and we really thank you for your, for your support to have us on on the program to to share the word and 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 get people interested. Absolutely, uh, Michelle. Um, before you leave us this morning, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I'd just like to continue to encourage our uh, young entrepreneurs to take advantage of this opportunity. It doesn't come around, you know, uh, that easily or quickly. Um, so take advantage of the opportunity now. Gain the knowledge, uh, you know, increase your learning and your competencies as it pertains to export development and growth for your businesses. Start now. And a big thank you to all of the partners involved, the Ministry of Trade, uh, Exim Bank, Youth Business, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we are really looking to see you know the outcome of such a series and hopefully for it to be held again uh the response so far has been very very good on behalf of the of, of information i have um from ybtt so looking forward to a fantastic series and thank you as well for uh the opportunity to share this information this morning absolutely if you can just uh, touch again on the uh, registration process Sure. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, everyone just log in to uh, Youth Business Trinidad and Tobago Facebook page. The ad has been running there. You would see it on the page. There's a link for you to get more information in terms of the various the three sessions. And you just you just register. You will receive a confirmation email from um, Youth Business. And that would be it. You are expected to log on. The first session is on June the 20th at 6 p.m. Uh, virtually online. Yeah. Um, how many persons are you all catering for? Um, I think right now we have had a very, very good response. I'm not sure in terms of the numbers for catering, but the response has been fantastic at this juncture. All right, fantastic. Uh, what point. I can say, Marlon, yes, is, is, is when you use a virtual platform, the message is scalable. So I think we've crossed 100, and, uh, and we're looking to keep that number going up. Yeah, all right. Um, Mr. Dukran, any anything else you'd like to add? We just have about thirty seconds again. I give you the last word. Well, you know, I, I think we've covered it all. I think the, the key message that Michelle is, is going to be talking about in these sessions is is those benefits and the steps that you take to become an exporter and to, or to increase your exports. And again, that is the way, the only way for your company to be self-sustaining and not relying on others for foreign exchange and for you to have business success in your endeavors and have your business grow and grow and grow because the market outside there is very immense. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for speaking with us this morning, uh, lady and gentlemen. Um, our doors <laughs> are always open to you. Thank you, thank All you right. so much. Bye for now. So okay. uh, we are going to a very short break. We first have this update for you. That's from the Beetham. Look at the sun. That is beautiful, what do you say? I mean, we have had some very, very cloudy days, so this is really nice, what we're seeing here. And the traffic is moving smoothly, yeah? It's time now for the 7 o'clock uh, news update. We're